Good morning, family. I'm Stephanie Wade. I'm Habasa, helping your brothers and sisters in Africa. And I'm also the one and only Creole Grill Tis. How y'all doing this morning? I hope y'all are doing just fine in this new year, 2022, y'all. What y'all know about that, as they say? I had somebody, well, before I start that, let me do a little housekeeping. If you have not subscribed, please do. It's free. <laughs> and did I say subscribe? For all those people who think I don't say subscribe, subscribe, it's free. <sighs> okay, I got that done. Now guys, I went on my land and got the herbs off the land and told you what all it was called and all. But y'all know I'm not thinking right now on what it's called, but here's one of the leaves. I washed them first with just clear water, y'all. Just clear water and let it dry. It's supposed to dry in the shade. So this kitchen is shady enough. And then, Here's the other leaves that I let finish drying. Same difference, I did wash them. I am going to boil them, or at least steep them in some water. I'm gonna use this strainer to, you know, break the leaves up and put them in a strainer. And I'm gonna let y'all know what they taste like in just a minute, okay? <laughs> Well, guys, to me, it tastes like a mile. Let me just say a mile taste that you better could taste anything. I will confess that I mixed it with uh, some ginger tea that was supposed to be immune boosting. Yeah and good for your digestion and all that. <laughs> because uh, the leaves alone did not color the water. And I'm so conditioned to the water having a color is why I end up adding that other tea bag. I know that's all it is. But it does have like a little taste to it that I can't describe. That probably if I didn't add the ginger, I'd been able to tell you better. But it's just herbs, y'all, like the leaves. <laughs> and I guess with that kind of tea, you just really make it, making it because it's uh, medicinal, you know? so. You, Guess you should just make it like a little shot glass, you know, almost like to tie your tea and then just drink it down. Instead of trying to make a whole cup like we used to. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I'm drinking it and I'm gonna drink it all. I'm gonna drink it all. It was all the tea that could fit into this little bad thing. And I'll bring this with me Wherever I go, I just put it in my suitcase. So that's good for all of your teas when they don't have a tea bag. You just put them in here and they're good to go. Make your own tea. But yeah, it's fine, y'all. I added a very little of that uh, raw sugar to it not enough to make it sweet, but just so I wouldn't have any bitter taste. Like they say, a spoon for the sugar <laughs> helps the medicine go down. So that's what I did. One day I might be brave and just drink it straight, like I said, and let it just boil and maybe just boil it leaves in the pot. Let them boil a long time. I might do that later. 
let it boil a long time, and then afterwards put it in a bottle and then take it like a shot, you know, and see what happens, you know? I've seen people do that on videos that they boil all of their concoctions. But I don't know how long the vitamins last if you do it like that. Who knows, y'all? I'm just trying something. I hope you guys go out there and have a wonderful day, no matter where you are in the world. I'm gonna share a little birdie walking around or doing something at the end of this video. And a few slideshow photos for y'all. Enjoy. And until next episode, peace, peace, power to the people. And I'm out y'all, bye. All right guys, I went to the store and bought bread. Seven dollars for bread. I know the newspaper's not sanitary, but some things around here is not anyway. <laughs> you just have to eat it or not and don't complain. But it tastes very good, y'all. Nice and soft, way better than the bakeries. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to make y'all laugh.